Have you guys ever had nougat before? Nougat, the worst sweet ever. I never liked it because I didn't like the way it nougat. I don't like the way it no, nougat. We heard you. Hey. Can't gang looking rigorous. Look My champagne, but I'm rigorous. My campaign looking rigorous. Look Whole team hella rigorous. Lifestyle so rigorous. What? Hairstyle so rigorous. Hey. The top five ain't rigorous. If you left out this rigorous, 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 rigorous. Me and my niggas is rigorous. Hello and welcome back to Mom Bansa. My name is Simon Bansa. Welcome back to another vlog. I haven't vlogged in a couple of weeks for a multitude of reasons. I was overwhelmed and also in the last video I definitely overshared a little bit. Um, I didn't feel like that at the time but as soon as I you know was a little bit vulnerable, shared a little bit, uh, somebody decided to take a clip of me talking about how happy I am right now and post it on Twitter and as much as I know I can't stop you guys from like posting public content on another public platform you know i know exactly why somebody would do that i just yeah I'm, I'm i'm not doing that again but i did try to vlog over the last couple of weeks i tried to go to gym didn't really enjoy it i did like a few sets here and there nothing was really sticking and honestly for me like I don't mind going to the gym for 15, 20 minutes. Um, if I don't feel like it, I'll just leave. But it was just too often that I was only going for 20, 30 minutes. Cause as soon as I got there, I was like over it. Then I could tell, you know what? I'm just probably not in the best space possible. So um, yeah, I, I stopped going to the gym for like two weeks. I also saw my friends this weekend quite a bit. I had my friends over at the house. Um, they'd never come over it was completely unplanned which was really nice it's really refreshing sometimes i forget how fulfilling it can be to just hang out with your friends i always try to remind myself that i should do it more often and just watch now i'll see my friends in a month again because that's just who i am it's so nice also that most of us have moved out of home at this point so we can just go hang out at each other's apartments like they were at mine on friday then we went to george's um on a sunday the one sunday and you guys know how it is to hang out with George. And you were gonna take it on the video. <laughs> the, uh, a screw will always hold yeah. that. If you don't this check it every hold, few, bro. every uh, like I'll say a year or so. A screw will hold, but if this doesn't hold, this screws. Doug, why did you finish my thing? I'm tired though. I'm tired. Yo, that was so satisfying. Oh my god. Did you get it on yeah, I did that? get it. <laughs> Have you guys ever had nougat before? Nougat. The worst sweet ever. I never liked it. Because yeah. I didn't like the way it nougat. I didn't like the way it no, nougat. We heard you. We heard you. Don't be crazy. Don't be crazy, dog. I saw this thing myself. You had to come all the way here. I'll beat him. I'll beat this guy. Though. So he didn't know this place. He didn't know this place, bro. <laughs> I showed him. Bro. <laughs> Me, I'm the food guy, bro. I'm gonna take you to Fortsberg, eh? Guys, so George has moved to uh, uh, Four Ways to the north, and I thought, you know, since we're not in Foslo anymore, every time we come to his house, he would stop suggesting that we have a quarter. Because every time we're in Foslo, when it was lunchtime, it was time to go get a quarter or a KK. We are in Four Ways now. You would think things would change. They have not. George got that one way. George found. Let's just say George found a gotta place. He There's managed no, to still find a gotta place. There's no man who's as consistent as I am. You're very consistent. Mm. There's no Kingsley in your freezer. So no, you want time through? Where's the fast for this thing? George, I need you to talk me through this. Nice. Uh, this gotta. Tell me about the gotta real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if this is the same one I bought. Yeah, it has a rib and an egg. Okay. It's beautiful, it tastes amazing. It's Compared cold. to the ones at home? Uh, still on the same level, I would say. It's Nenes. Nenes is, is in Pitori. It's their four. Uh, Campus Square. Yeah. They have a quarter of Campus oh. Square. Yeah. 
So Nenez is fire, guys. Go to Nenez. Yo. Also shot another episode of The State of the Strong. We have two more episodes left to shoot. The first episode is already up on YouTube and on Spotify. And the most recent one we shot had one of the greatest South African talents of all time. Um, it's probably gonna come out in a couple of weeks. Fast forward to the present day. It's a Sunday. I want to go outside to get some sun because during the week I'm usually in this house 24 seven. So I'm gonna go out for breakfast. Um, hopefully get a place that's like outside so some sun can hit me so I can feel like I was out a little bit. But before that, friends of mine uh, had a baby recently and so I got them flowers and I'm going to go drop them off before I go to the breakfast. Breakfast will definitely be over by the time I arrive at the restaurant, but I'm gonna be like, oh, I heard you guys have like the best, re the best breakfast ever. That's always my trick. Like if I'm late for breakfast, just pump them up. Just tell them, yo, I heard you guys breakfast is crazy. I rushed over here, didn't realize I was late. Could you make a plan for me? And then you tip well, obviously, because your waiter had to go ask somebody to, to make a meal that wasn't supposed to be made at that time. Anyway, I got them sunflowers because I felt like this is just, you know, it's cute. It's cute, it's lovely. It says, hey, you just gave birth. I'm very, very proud of you. I hope your baby is happy and healthy, right? So I dropped off the flowers. Mama was very happy with them. Um, saw the little baby, what a cutie. Um, now I'm at lunch uh, at Glenda's, at a restaurant called Glenda's. They make the best pancakes. Flapjacks? Flap. Fla flapjacks, not pancakes. They make the best flapjacks. Um, and I was late for breakfast, but it's fine. They said they'll make them anyway because I'm Sibumbanza. They didn't say that. I just, I had to beg. I, I begged a lot and um, they're gonna come. I'll show you guys what they look like. It's in Rosebank. I'm pretty sure this area is technically not Rosebank, but um, it's Rosebank to me. Life-changing flapjacks, life-changing. You'll see them when they get here. Once again, life-changing. guys hear that this 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 morning 2 38 a.m if <laughs> you don't live in south africa you might not know if you live in south africa you know if you live in joburg you not only know but you also felt definitely top five scariest 20 seconds of my life without a doubt i'm not here to lie there are lots of times in my life where i've been scared but that was different so i stayed up quite late saturday night stayed up quite late into sunday morning and the time was about 2 30 and i decided you know what i think it's time to go to bed because sunday's gonna come you're gonna be too tired to start your week properly so i went to bed 2 30 a.m put my head down and i was slowly conking out and i was i was hitting one of these that's when you know that i'm i'm getting in deep i'm getting in deep when i was hitting these you know if, if you ever slept with a guy like like cuddled that's what i mean if you've ever like cuddled a guy who slept in the same bed as a guy you know sometimes when we really you know going into sleep we hit some of these we be, we be sometimes we can feel it ourselves i know we lie and we say no i don't jerk in my sleep but we can feel it ourselves so when all of a sudden this felt like my whole <laughs> my whole body and my bed was shaking I instantly, you know how Kane or Undertaker in wrestling sits up. My first automatic thought was, did somebody just crash into my wall? Like that was my first thought is that like, you know, it was a Saturday night or Sunday morning, drunk drivers, like somebody maybe just drove straight into my wall. That was my automatic assumption. And then I realized that no man, this thing is, it's all around me. It's all around. I ended up sitting off on the edge of my bed and putting my feet flat on the floor because I was like, I don't know, I was scared that my bed was just gonna like crumple. And when I put my feet flat on the floor, guys, there was no flat. My feet were doing this. My feet were doing. That's what my feet were doing. They were doing this. They were. <laughs> Anyway, it lasted about 20 seconds. Um, 
I think it was a four point something magnitude earthquake. When I moved to Joburg, I was told that there were tremors and I have felt one or two. And normally what they feel like is like, if you've ever stayed in an apartment block or like a res or a hostel or something, you know when someone drops something in the apartment next to you or above you or below you, and you hear like a thud, like a, a dull thud, right? That's what it normally sounded like. This one, this one felt like an earthquake. Yeah. Now that the fear has died down, all that's left is embarrassment. I'm embarrassed because that's how I'd react. I'm very embarrassed. And so I'm gonna end off this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy to be alive. But uh, maybe Joburg wasn't the good idea. Maybe Joburg was not the one. Maybe I should have stayed home. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you very much. You know, not every day is guaranteed. And so I'm just happy to still be here making vlogs for you guys. I, I hope to see you soon with another one. But we don't know because we live in Joburg and earthquakes happen. <laughs>